I'm not sure the person's who build those. I have absolutely no clue. I got, I got another name. I got another name. I don't know. I don't know. Bohemian sculptors. <laughs> They were here when I arrived here, and um, I was pretty much fine with that. That was good enough. They're good decorations. They're good history for you to learn to know about history. Oh, no, yeah, Stephen Burris. Stephen Burris. He's a great guy. <laughs> well, if I'm going to do a piece of sculpture, I want to do it exactly the way it is naturally. I always like art. And the strangest thing, you know, people want to want to find where I learn art. Actually, I used to do it as a very small boy. I was born during the war and after the war things were tough. So we had to get involved in making things for yourself to make money. And I did. One fellow saw me making some stuff. And he's an old man out of Second World War, veteran. He said, boy, you're smart. But what you must do, read, read, read. Hey, I took his, took his advice. Then I got interested in welding. And nobody had to teach me how to weld at all. I just watched the um, welder. Then I got a book to sh show you the names of the beads and how they go. So I started doing sculptures and using otherwise. But she's not with me today. You know what a German told me when he saw me making the lobster? A German said to me, Mr. Burroughs, if you was in my country, you had been a millionaire. I know I'm not gonna get anything out of what I do in the Bahamas. But I don't care about getting anything. I don't really need anything. Bacardi asked me to red bat. So I told Bacardi, I don't do it for money. I say, but if you give a junior chief a scholarship, I'll make the red bat for you. So that's how come I made that for them. <laughs> Every time I see that rooster, I say, Stands up biggity just like Steve. Somehow, the rain gets into it and the water seems to find a small hole in the welding. So if you pass it now, you'll see a strick of a rust in the front of it. I asked BC to put a 120 with a plug there for me, but they wouldn't do it. So I couldn't use a drill to drill the hole, to plug it up, and to resurface it again and give it a good paint job in front. I still like to tell the wake up and do something about it. But I thought the people who was in charge of the roundabouts would have said, okay, we'll pay them to put a socket there or something like that, and we could put lights back on it. But that's where the Bahamas is. My love would come for you, and, and, and I think if we have some talents, we can do things to make our country a little more attractive. I think we should do it. And not only that, you see the dragon? The fella in California, he got pinned to get me to make the dragon. So I said, if you want me to do it, you have to check with the Prime Minister Finland. Because I told him, say, you'll have to give five scholarships to some Bahamians. But when the dragon was completed, they didn't want only just five scholarships. They say, wait half million dollars. And he say he can't pay dollars. <laughs> as soon as I retired, they dismantled and put it outside the place to rot. They, they wouldn't let me finish it. But if this is their way of showing appreciation, no. And you still going to for it. I have a Triton trumpet at Blue Hills. If they let me finish it, it would have been the best part, best one. But the government didn't want it, nobody else wanted it. I proposed to make to the government to let me build a lobster. Three stories high, 150 feet long, 
and have on the inside a restaurant and a bar. Let's say you get the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower, you get the, the Statue of Liberty. Why in the hell the Bahamas can't do a big lobster? And you see, and I was trying to show the jackasses to say, I can get about 12 welding students and they learn to do a big piece of sculpture. They wouldn't even answer me. Not one word. Designing, creating, building, and having vision to how things should work. We need to be special somewhere. We're a small nation, so we have to show that a small nation has big skills. Because see, I always think about the Bahamas because I got grandchildren, great grandchildren, and the thing is, we people who are skillful should do far more to attract business in this country. I have no works. The only thing is I hate that life is so short and I can't move more. Because my hand's still good and it's still steady. I can draw, design, and build. I would like that lobster. I like that to be the last piece I make because it can take me for five years. And if I can live to the age of 80, that'll be finished.